Hey Dorian. Hey Dorian. Say hi. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> What's wrong, babe? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have kept petting you. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. I should always be petting you at all times. Everybody, meet Dorian Earl Gray, my cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi everybody, so today I want to talk about adopting a cat in Korea. Um, in case you didn't notice, I now have a cat. His name is, <laughs> sorry, his name is Dorian Earl Gray. Um, each name was given to him by a new person in his life. Initially it was Grey, then his foster mom called him Earl Grey, and now I call him Dorian Earl Grey. Um, he's one year old and the the funniest little guy ever. Um, to adopt him, uh, I definitely did adopt. I knew that I wanted an older cat. Um, he's about a year old, um, so I didn't want like a kitten kitten. He's still technically a kitten. He's got a lot of energy, but he's not like, you know, he's almost full grown. Um, but what I had to do, I went on to AnimalRescueKorea.com and uh, looked at their cats and found Dorian and was immediately, was immediately um, completely struck. I knew that I wanted um, a very specific kind of cat, one who was a little more affectionate and loving. Um, so I read his blog and, uh, and emailed his foster mom and asked her about him. That's, I think, one of the great things about Animal Rescue Korea is... Uh, the access to English speakers, you can really get to know the animal that you're adopting as opposed to adopting a pet from like a store, um, adopting, buying a pet from a store. Um, it's just not the same. You can't really get that in-depth uh, personality analysis that you can with adopting a pet. So, um, Gray, I don't know what breed he is. He's just a cat. <laughs> um, but what I had to do, I had to fill out this long um, three-page uh, survey, I guess, asking how are you going to get him back to your home country? Um, how much do you think it'll cost for food? And how much time do you spend at home that you can love on him? All that kind of stuff. Kind of made to deter people who are just impulse getting a cat. Cats can live up to you know, 15, 20 years, even beyond that. Um, they're definitely not something that you should impulse buy. And um, actually, a lot of the cats that are up for adoption are cats who were formerly adopted or bought and turned in once the people realize that they're not always going to be a, you know, month old kitten. Like, you know, it does take effort to, to have a pet. So, um, so yeah, they want to make sure that you're, you're really into it and you really need it and that you'll take them back with you and all that stuff. So build out all that stuff. Then I had to go two hours to meet this little guy. He was not in Seoul. He was in Daejeon. And they had cats that were insold, but I just couldn't pick anybody else. So I went to go see him two hours away. He immediately hissed at me and head under the bed. <laughs> so instead, I spent an hour and a half basically just talking to his foster mom, um, seeing how he was with her. And eventually, he actually did let me pet him, which I thought was a great sign. Um, so after you initially meet them, you have to wait a week uh, to really think about it. And, you know, is that my cat? Do I want to meet other cats? You know, you don't have to adopt the cat you need if it doesn't work doesn't work but I knew I knew he was mine so um, luckily for me I didn't have to go back to Dejan um, she came into Seoul to meet some friends so she brought Gray with her um, 
and uh, I had to give her $100, that's for the shelter's fee, um, also as another deterrent to keep people from just like impulse getting a cat, um, but also to cover his um, neutering co costs, he's already neutered, which I think is great, I'm a firm believer in spaying and neutering your pets. Um, he's microchipped, um, and he also has all the shots. So really that 100,000 watts, not that much considering um, that's basically paying his medical bills. Um, but yeah, after that I got him home. Um, we started bonding almost immediately. Uh, you know, at first he ran ahead under my bed, but, but by, you know, three in the morning he was meowing and, um, I got him out from under the bed. Like I kind of coaxed him, you know, he had to come out on his own. I would never go under and get him. I would freak him out. Um, and he started loving on me and it's been, it's been this way ever since. So, uh, yeah, that's how I adopted my cat and soul. Um, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Uh, and uh, here's hopefully to 20 years of happily ever after. Me and uh, me and Dorian Earl Grey. <laughs> um, you guys are awesome. Um, I'll talk to you next time. Okay. Bye.